April 4, 2012. Police were called to a small home in Philadelphia by a distressed family member, possibly the mother after coming home and finding her son dead on the ground. With severe bloody scratches and cuts all over his hands, arms, neck, and face. The boy's name was Tom Miller, he was 17 years old before the boy committed suicide. His family denied that it was a suicide but an autopsy confirmed that it was indeed a suicide. It's worth mentioning that Tom's best friend, Kyle Jefferson who moved in just a few months prior to this, sent Tom a note an hour or two before his family arrived home. The note said this, Tom, I can't take it anymore, I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late, and I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it, he's after me. And if you don't destroy this CD, he'll come after you too, he's too fast for me. Please Tom, destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you too, it's too late for me. Destroy the disc, and you'll destroy him, but do it quick otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play the game, it's what he wants, just destroy it. Please, Kyle. Kyle was also found dead in his room. The boy shot himself in the head with his father's revolver. Tom's family was devastated by the death of their son. The father began drinking and taking heavy drugs and eventually so did the mother. In 2014, Mr. and Miss Miller eventually had their last remaining children, Jesse Miller and Tim Miller, taken by Child Protective Services to foster care due to severe negligence and possible physical abuse. In 2016 Mr. Miller, who was Brian Miller was caught at a local park handing children computer discs containing a game file that police say might have led to his son's suicide, in a dirty, rotting Sonic the Hedgehog costume. When police approached Mr. Miller to question him, he yelled out quote, If you stop me he's gonna kill you, and everyone else here, before pulling a gun out and shooting himself in the head. Police found six big black bags in the back of Brian Miller's van five of which had nothing but hundreds of copies of the disc that he was handing out to children. In one bag contained, the dismembered remains of his wife, Melissa Jonathan Miller, 